A church in Warren, known for its food pantry, has been cited by the city for blight and public health-related issues. CBS News Detroit's Heath Kalb is here in studio with the story. Yes, Shana, it was Wednesday this week when both the city and pastor of the Harvest Time Christian Fellowship, Curtis Ostosh, confirmed that blight crews were at the property removing items. On Nine Mile Road in South Warren, thousands of people every month come to the Harvest Time Christian Fellowship for the church's popular food pantry. But in recent weeks, the food pantry had received a disturbing citation from the city, noting several public health related issues, including an outdoor tent that housed homeless people and the outdoor storage of raw foods on the ground in cardboard boxes that appear to have been compromised by animals. But when the pastor of the church spoke to us, he was upset how the city went about their citation. It's disheartening to think that the city aggressively came against us and took this action, they threw out a ton of stuff that was useful, that was good, that was used in our ministry. The church will be charged for the cost of the cleanup and could be assessed additional fines. Pastor Oskosh says that he's happy to comply, but that the work this food pantry does is vital to the community, especially now. Five years ago, we were serving a thousand people a month because of the pandemic and inflation and a whole bunch of other reasons. Last month, we helped more than 7,000 people. He said his church has outgrown its current space and that he is currently looking for a new, larger building. I spoke to customers of the pantry who told me they hadn't heard of the church's ongoing issues. I've never heard of any complaints or anything like I really think it would be bad to just continue this because as you can see, there's people in the line here. The city of Warren declined to comment on the church's citation. As I mentioned, the city cleaned up the property, but the original property management service request on the Harvest Time property was over a year and a half ago. Unfortunately, thousands of people who are food insecure may have been eating compromised food for some time now. Unfortunate to hear, and I know it's so popular, so hopefully they can get this figured out and help the community again. Yeah, for sure, Shannon. All right, thank you, Heath. Mm -hmm.